Okay, so I don't remember what I was going to set out last time to do, but right now we're gonna head to Lady Web. I believe she's in Andra's gift. Maybe. Oh no, not Andra's gift. That's a that's a place. Um she's somewhere. Um I need to go and tell her uh, about Leaden Key's activities. I think that's what I read in the quest log. I'll recheck it just to make sure. But um Oh no, I remember what I need to do. I need to go back to the district. I haven't gone into the palace. I have not gone down into whatever cellar place is. Um, yeah. Yeah. So I gotta check both of those things out. Um, let's see. After having run across Thaus in Brackenbury Sanitary, I like that you have note that. She seemed okay. Hmm. Should I talk to her again? I guess I should go back to her. Hmm. Okay, let's see here. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Indeed, indeed I do. That is such an annoying, annoying problem. Where's Ant's log compass? Ah, it's right there. Okay, so where was she? She was in the Brackenbury? Thing? Travel to Ant's log compass. Twin Elm. Uh, Black Meadows. Uh, Elm Shore. Valewood, Magrin's Fork, all these places. She's in Dunry's Row. What? First Fire, Brackenberry, Andres, Gift, Heritage Hill, Copper Lane. Okay. Not the correct place then. To Dundrit Row by Rickerson. Is it? She's in. <sighs> okay. I am so confused. I I think she's in Brackenbury. We'll go to Brackenbury. Maybe Dundra's Row is here. Because um, I want to talk to her again before, before I leave this town. Just to make sure that she has nothing else for me. Because it's been a while since I uh, visited her. And she is part of a main quest. So, you know, might as well get that done with. And then I have a ton of side quests involving my companions, um, all requiring me to travel east. I have some bounties I need to do, which I'm going to do soonish. I am so confused. Uh, Hadrid's house. Okay. This is Brackenbury, not Dunrid's Row. 
the hell? I wonder if I have to go back to the uh, Animancer's place and tell them that they're being sat. No, I already did tell them that. Hmm. Really? That sound effects bug is not going to go away? Oh, there it is. That was so weird. Oh, and there's way too many loading screens in this game. Way too many. Unacceptable amount. Yeah. Unacceptable amount of loading screens. <sighs> um, there's something I can tell you. Um, well, let's hear it. The Anguithian Tower in Heritage Hill contained an ancient machine that can control the flow of souls. The Laden Key activated it. This is troubling. I'm not going to do her old woman voice because that killed my throat. This is troubling. That civilization seems to know more about the mechanics of souls than anyone since. The Leiden Key was born in that period, but it may be that Thaus has full knowledge of the technology. The application of this machine you speak of. I don't want to think about it. That isn't enough to take to the Duke, but we're close. Eval Wolfgren is a cautious man. He will want to know everything possible before being moved to action. After running across the house in Brackenberry Sanitarium, I told Lady Webb about Lady Key in Heritage Hill. That's not enough? Oh my god. They were like turning his entire district into zombies. And that and you don't think that's enough for him to take a Oh my goodness god. Okay, let's go to the Temple of Wodega. Goodness, 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 goodness. The, the the world's cutest cat. You're my only friend in this entire forsaken city. The only logical thing on this planet right now is you. I wish it meows. <laughs> I wish it meows once every one in a while. Occasionally meows. Look at it. Isn't it adorable? The only way it can become more adorable is it is if it's orange. Orange and white fur. It's my favorite colors for cats. Even though black is my favorite color for anything else in the world. Cats, they have to be orange. Orange and white. Or pure orange with a shade of darker orange. I don't know. Dogs, dogs have to be brown. <laughs> a shade of browns of some kind. I don't know. I'm very specific with animal colors. If they're not a specific color, I don't think they're as cute. You know? Just, just a natural way of seeing things. Okay, I have a... Oh god, not again. What the fuck? A ghost hovers in the middle of the ruin, citing blessings and prayers. Even as the spirit form shifts and swirls, it retains the face of an elderly man and robes that mark wealth and status. It turns to you. 
Come to pay your respects to the queen that was. Who are you? Lord Edwellen Rookfall the Third, and pleased to make your acquaintance. I came to the Direwood on one of the first ships from a deer. His cloudy yeah, his cloudy eyes swims with resentment. And unlike the yokels that hunt dwellers around here, I still keep to the old ways. It truly is a pity to see what the locals have done with uh, done to Wodega's house of worship. What are you doing? Worshipping Wodega, the exiled queen and oathbinder. I come every day to offer my devotion. His expression fades into confusion. I'd love nothing more than to look passage yeah, the book passage back to the uh, deer. But it is my emperor's wish that I serve in these barbaric lands, and so I do. He shrugs. I'd like to know more about Wodica. The ghost's hazy features sharpen with delight. A queen amongst the gods. She oversees laws and oaths. Everything has a rightful place, and Wodica watches over them all. The ghost's expression turns. Of course, not everyone accepts this. Even amongst other gods, her authority is questioned. But Wodica is also goddess of memory and vengeance, and she remembers. Slowly, the ghost nods. She'll remember every slight and trespass when she reclaims her throne. You know that you're a ghost, right? I beg your pardon. This is some kind of joke. Where did you from? I'm serious. Just look at yourself. He closes his eyes and massages temple with wispy fingers. A madhouse. That's what this town really needs. <laughs> As you regain awareness of what's happening around you, you realize that your head is in Pelagina's feather hands. Her golden eyes are peering into your own, as though she is trying to catch a glimpse of activity lurking in the depths. As she sees your eyes respond, she wobbles your head a little to give you a slight slap. Letting go and stepping back, she regards you with concern. Everything's going to be alright in there. <laughs> oh, can I talk to you? Holy shit! How do you have so many spells? Alright, I give you tons of items that have spells on them. Oh my god, you just have like tons and tons of spells now. That's insane. Oh, no, you have nothing to say. Jesus, Pelagina, you have so many spells. That is insane. She's like a wizard. She is. You know, in the D&D game that I'm playing with my friends, I hope I do get a... Oh, I knew it. I knew we were going to put back here. <sighs> Let's save. But um, I, I, I do hope we find items that have spells enchanted on them. That'd be pretty cool. Okay, so there's nothing really. Okay, let's get out of here. I knew that would lead us there. Okay, let's go to the palace. Let's go to the palace. After this, I think we can finally leave this 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 city. And head to the Elven City. I th think that's an Elven. He moved. Hey, Mr. Ghost, you moved. Damn it. A Jessicar. Um, what door should I enter from? Probably the front door. 
Let's not enter the side door of a palace. It's never a good idea. I demand to see the Duke. Well, your demands are not met. <laughs> The Duke is busy. He will see you in his own time. Sidley. Hi, Sidley. The young woman wears a simple but well-tailored uniform. She watches the comings and goings around her with quiet attention. Any news to share? Or are you just here to see the Ducal Palace? What is the Ducal Palace? It's the seat of government here in Divine's Bay. This is where the Duke admits Heret declared freedom from Adirian rule some 150 years ago. She lowered her voice and grins. It's also a hotbed of regional politics. Trust me, the gossips here beats what you'll find in any tavern or brothel in the city. Multiply that by 10, and it would be just like the Republic's. Um, who are you? I am a page here at the palace. I deliver messages and run errands for the Duke and his advisors. The pay is not great, but I can't think of a better introduction to politics. What's go on here? She laughs. Where to start? We got meetings. Public hearings and ceremonies, and that's just the stuff that happens out in the open. She leans in a little closer. This is where the Duke and his key advisors work. So there's always someone bartering for a favor. Unfortunately, I'm not at liberty to talk about that side of things. But if you want official version, she clears her throat and gestures counterclockwise around the palace. We have a shrine devoted to Magrin, official records, and chambers for Republic hearings and council meetings. Uh, why do you have a shrine to Magrin here? It's a symbol of Magrin's protection of Defiance Bay. She's represented the revolutionary spirit of the Direwood ever since independence, and her involvement in creating the Godhammer bomb only affirm her importance to us. She scr scratches her neck. That's also where the first of the sacred fires burns. But Firga, the tranquil ardent, has had trouble keeping them lit. What kind of records are stored here? Mostly dull official stuff. Census counts, tax records, militia register. Now I keep my distance. I got curious one day and got drafted into uh, reshelving half of the records. She yawns. Worst day of my life. Is there a hearing going on right now? Sure is. Duke Avar has... Uh, sorry. Duke Avar's been meeting with some of the city leaders for weeks now, trying to figure out how to address the legacy. The whole business is terribly secret, though. I tried to sit in the galley during my lunch break one day and got turned away, she sniffs. But... A lot of the talk concern animancy, still there is good reason they're keeping the meeting behind closed doors. Oh my god, are we still gonna ask about the legacy? Why is anime so controversial? She laughs. Where to begin? The traditionalist thinks that it's a crime against the gods. There's no question that poking around in souls is risky, but the more progressive elements believe it's our only short shot at restoring healthy births. And it doesn't help matters that animancy research often re involves old Anglican relics that were illegally looted from ruins of Erglen Foth. She makes a quick, twitching motion with her index and middle finger. What do you think about animancy? Me? I think the real danger of animancy is confusing a real scholar with an expensive fake. We get a new case here every day. Some poor crumble in the gift of Ore Copper Lane who spent every copper they had on a miracle cure for their unborn child. It never works. She shakes her head. Breaks your heart. But there's nothing we can do for them. Um, the legacy? Waywind's legacy. That's what a lot of people call the rash of Hollowborns. The theory goes that is a punishment for meddling in animancy. 
What are hollowborns? She raises an eyebrow. You really are fresh from the road. Hollowborns are children born without souls. They often don't live very long, and those that do have generally received some kind of treatment from the Animancers. I see. Anyways, the legacy is what the polit uh, politicians have all been whispering about lately. Um, tell me about the current duke. What would Avar Wolfgren... Oh, sorry. That would be Avar Wolfgren. Don't let the little uh don't let the title fool you though. Our dukes have been elected since independence. Some Duke Avar, some find Duke Avar rather coarse. He's a frontier noble. Personally, I think a rough and tumble type is just what defines Bay needs. Okay, so that's a refresher on what Hollowborns and um the legacy is, if you haven't been watching my playthrough um lately. I'm guessing that's a side door. None of these doors are open. Why? Can I go in this room? Only people official invitations are allowed to observe the Animancy hearings. Oh my lord. I need to close the door. Give me a second. Ugh, people. Okay. Um, we have Fierga. Let's go talk to Fierga. Okay. The woman's head is bowed as her lip moves in prayer. Just as you approach, you catch her glimps glimpsing at a statue near her. She notices you and forces a smile. Praise to be Ma praise be to Magrin, and welcome to her temple. How may I be of service? You seem upset. What's wrong? Her shoulders slump. This is about the fire, isn't it? She puts a hand on your shoulder. They're just symbols, but you can't put faith in them. Uh... Only symbols? Is that why you're so distressed? No, I just... She sighs with a hiss like a release of steam. I've been... I kept them burning steadily for 15 years, but I haven't been able to conjure them for months now, and people need to see them more than ever these days. What does that even mean? It's my devotions and prayers that keep it limb lit, but lately when I try to pray, all I can think about are the hollowborns all over the city, the grieving families, the refugees. She shakes her head. How could Magrin allow us to suffer like this? What strength do we gain from a soulless child? Durin's grunts with disdain. What strength do we gain from adversity? From trial and tests? The fire don't wither because she lacks in faith. They wither because she does not understand how to be faithful to a whore. A whore wants neither praise nor devotion. A whore wants to be compensated for her services. And Magrin is paid and pleasured in sweat and struggle and pain. This mewling imbecile is unworthy of Magrin's womanly heat. Goodness gracious. Take heart. Don't abandon your face so easily. She nods hopefully, her hands clasped together. You're right. And unfortunately, I believe Magrin's been speaking to me again. She casts a quick glance in your direction. There are some things you can know about, sorry, there are some things you can know without quite understanding them. If I'm not mistaken, you seem to know what I mean. Lately, I've been seeing visions. A place in the wilderness with pools filed, filled with sunburst colors. Strange falls that seem to rise to the heavens, even while they splash into the earth. She raises her hands as if framing an image of her vision. And behind the water, behind the falls is a cave filled with fire and heat and danger and some token of my goddess. I know there's something there, but where is it? Or how I get there? She shakes her head. I've been meaning to ask around that expedition hall to see if anyone recognizes the description. To be honest though, I don't know what I'd do even if I found the place. Oh, do not go to the expedition hall. Whatever you do, do not go there. That place 
is gone. Hmm. Worthless. Like so many of Magrin's flock. Afraid of her god's tests. If Magrin speaks to her, it is too hasten an end to a hypocrite's life. And this vision is surely a death trap for the weak. I journey to the Searing Falls myself. This is what I found there. She takes a stone in her hand and gasps. By the flames! You do you know what this is? Um, it's a fragment of the Godhammer bomb. Yes! She turns it in her hands. The very weapon that Magrins herself helped us build to defeat Waywinds in the Saints' War. She turns the stone in her hand, gazing into its bright glow. It's weird, seeing it right in front of you like that, before it was, just stories, never seemed real. Yet her mouth twists to a f into a frown, and the orange light carves deep in shadow across her face. So why do I feel, so why don't I feel any differently? What good does this do? Her knuckles within, whiten, and, her, and she tightens her fingers around the stone. Hmm. Oh my god, okay, I'm gonna say this. Magrin is the god of trials, and yet you sent me to pursue the vision she gave you. You prove yourself faithless. Her expression cracks in anguish. Was it a test? Or just evident of what Magrin already knew? She tucks the rock away. I I think I suspect, but I kept hoping for a different answer. Everyone's trial comes. There is no avoiding it. To avoid it is to fail it. Her weakness shows plain as the relics glow. She may have worn a robe of Magrin, but she never followed her. Lost in the darkness, this one. Do not forget what it looks like. She looks sadly at the empty-handed statue. This is his true burden of tr faith, not a goddess's challenge, but her absence, her silent. Or the answer that reveals your own hollow conviction. She folds her hands in front of her. I will take the weak still to appoint a suitable successor. In the meantime, I'll serve the people the best I can. Yay, moderately negative. Woo! <laughs> she sighs again. Wait here for a moment. She disappears quickly, return with something in her hand. I am no longer fit to wield this, but perhaps I can serve you. Besides, I do know I do owe you some thanks for the services you perform. Damn! Cinders of Faith. I got the quest and I complete the quest because I already, you know, wow. How much, uh... Ooh, we got a flail. Are you good with flails? Anyone here good with flails? Saber, stiletto, club, pistol. It's, nope. Are you good with a flail? Lucid faith, conviction, blah, 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 blah. Weapon soldier. Great sword, pike, warhammer. Nope. I know I'm not good with flail because I don't think I have anything. Uh, weapon focus adventure. Pull ass, S stock flail, wand, and a war bow. Okay, I'm good with a flail. Good to know. Good to know. Um, you are not good with anything. Uh, gunner. You have. Okay, so you're good with guns in general. What about you? I don't think you have good against anything, really. Yeah, you don't have anything good. Okay, I'm good with a flail. That's good to know. Good to know. Um, what is stilettos? Am I good with stilettos? I don't think I'm good with stilettos. Pull out s stocks flail, wand, warbo. Yeah, I'm not good with stilettos. Here. Take the flail. Uh, main spear, 
Scepter. Scepter is two-handed, right? Yeah. Um, S-stock and pull axe. An S-stock and a pull axe. Do I have either one of those? Sword, crossbow, scepter, spear, mace, pistol, pike, elk. Oh, oh. What? 239 lost to bandits? The fuck? How? 239 copper lost to bandits? Even though I have 26 fucking defense? That's so stupid! I hired all these people and yet currently unpaid. What? Why are they unpaid? Excuse me. Why are you guys unpaid? Do I have to go there and manually pay you? Because that would be really stupid. Okay, well, I toggle it back, so I technically pay them again. Okay, that's really stupid. I just want to see what's inside. Oh, useless. Useless! A tactic man with graying hair pours. With graying hair pours over a tome he just withdrawn from one of the shelves. He glances up at you with baggy eyes. Yes. Is there something I can pull for you? I'm looking for militia records from time of the Saint War, trying to find out what happened to someone. The man clears his throat. We've had a number of inquiries about such information. I'm afraid we had to bar access to the public. Seems there are still quite a number of folk in Direwood who bear ill will towards uh, Rikiras or Rikirans. Ah, it would be irresponsible to surrender their names to just anyone. Many came to settle here as refugees. Perhaps if you were more established in Defiance Bay, it would be different. But I have no reason to suspect you of any different from the others. There is something peculiar about the record keeper's inflection. The differences are uh, subtle, but it does not sound like any native Diwurians you've heard. I am a foreigner myself. I bear no grudges against Reed Kiras. He looks you in the eye, squinting as to see you more clearly. It is an unfortunate state of things when outsiders are easier to trust than one's own people. Doesn't that just say it all? He looks up at a shelf and withdraws a thick volume, shifting layers of dust aside with his hand. The t rosters are f in front. The inventories of the dead are in the back. He passes to Ed, into a deer's outreached hands. I will not permit any copying of these pages. I do make myself understood. A deer leaves through the book for some time anxiously, running his thick farmhand fingers over page after page of names. At last, his hand stops, his finger just below one name. Woodwin Talix died 18 Magiverno 2808, third battle of Cleban Cle Rilag. Blazing Glenfathing names, I swear. He stops short, his eye bulging. They scan back and forth over and over. Read Kiraz. I'll be the effigy. He fought for Reed Kiraz. He stared at the page. His jaws agape before suddenly looking up at you. 
Why'd he fight for Reed Kiras? Hmm. I'm sure he had a good reason. I am too. He stares at the page, his complexion drained. I am too. A strange look comes over a deer. We've got to... We've got to go there. That battlefield. Clea, uh, the one I said. I don't know how else I'm going to make sense of all this. I got to see what he saw. Who knows, maybe his spirit will even be there, and you can have one of your weird talks with him. Worth trying, right? I'll help in any way I can. I appreciate that. Wish I could say you won't regret it, but you certainly might. Ah! Adir's brother Woodwin, Wooden fought for Rikrias and died at the Battle of Cleoban, Relag. He wants to see the battlefield. Well, we haven't been to any of that. So... I want to travel to Anslock Compass. Uh, Commander Cliver told me that the High Justice Courier, a commander named Aaron Rowe, will be waiting there. Sending a ship directly to Defiance Bay would likely attract the attention of the dozens. Okay. Um, Jessica, do you know where the battlefield is? No, you're useless. Okay. I thought you might be. Close right here. Anslaw Compass it is. How long did that take? Three days? Oh my lord. Well, okay, it makes sense. <laughs> it, it makes sense. It makes sense why it would take three days to get here, but goodness gracious. Um, library construction complete. Security report that trolls and oozes will attract a stronghold in five days. Well, the library is complete, so I can buy something now. Whee! Okay, I can buy Western Barbican. Barbican. Or, I can buy myself a Bailey. Or, I can upgrade myself a tower. Let's upgrade the walls first. La -la. Um, he did say Ancelot Compass, right? Guess I don't fucking see him anywhere around here. Swear to God, you better be here. Okay, let's see if we have any trade. Nope. Okay. Hello? Where the fuck are you? Oh, okay, there he is. You there! Did Commander Cliver sent you? 
The woman si oh, it's a woman. <clears throat> wow. The woman sizes you up squinting against the glare from the water. You've come from the Crucible Keep, I take it. I was told you have something for me. Tell me about what's happening at Fleetbreaker Castle. Her eyes narrow, but she eventually shrugs. You're obviously helping Commander Cliver, so I suppose I can help you. The High Justice has been gathering forces there. This mess with the legacy, the unrest, and the man eating corpses all over Direwood. It isn't going away anytime soon, and the dozens are using this as an opportunity for a power grab. We've got to build up some strength to defend the Direwood as well as our position here. And with these Forge Knights at our disposal, we'll be unstoppable. What's your role in this? I'm commander. I'm a commander stationed at Bre Fleet Breaker Castle. I was sent to receive the research by the High Justice himself. He leans closer. And since you know what this research is all about, you can imagine how eager I am to get it back to the castle quickly and quietly. Fine. Here it is. Excellent. I should get this back to High Justice before. She looks over your shoulder as sound approaching footsteps. Too late. Get ready. Oh, fuck you guys. This man's face is twisted into a snarl. Are you mad? You hold the secrets to one of the foulest examples of animancy, and you want to hand it over to the Crucible Knights. He shakes his head. It's an abomination. Cage Soul uses weapons, and you give this silk stockings an army of them. He raised his axe, tightened his grip around haft, and I can't let you do this. The research must be destroyed. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, so there's no way to get around this. I'll destroy you. Kill them all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Turn your asses around, guys. Oh, whoa. Okay. First of all, we're going to uh, fireball this entire fucking back row. And then after that, we're going to poison mist the entire front row. You can dance and sing. No, actually, you can also fireball the entire front row, like that. Then, you can scrolls of missile barrage on... Uh... Oh, the mage should be dead by then. Uh, on the mage, just in case he isn't dead. You buff us up immediately, and then... I want you to cast Consen Consecrated Grounds. My character, my character, you will Mind Blades him. Then, then I want you to Silent Screams that eye. Um, Palagina, goodness, look at, look at all this stuff you have, girl. I want you to attack him. And I want you to start spreading the plague. I don't know. You are going to knock that guy on his ass. Then attack him. Execute! Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. So dead. Jesus. Three fireball wiped out their entire army. Well, army party. Aran Ro wipes her blade on the lining of her cape. I'll take that as our cue to leave. With a dozen growing so bold, there's no time to waste. She strides back towards the waiting boat. Give my regards to the commander, and watch your back out there. 
Major positive for the Knights of the Crucible. Woo! Ooh, shield. That's for you. Spellbook for you. And everything else can go there. Okay. Is this shield good? Um. Ugh. No. No, it's not that good. Nope. Okay. It doesn't have bashing. Ooh. What is that? I want to see third level spells you have. Learn that. Okay, Alice. What is this? Sickened for two seconds. Terrified for two. Nope. I don't want them to start running away. That's just annoying. This f second level spells are so fucking useless in this game. Jesus Christ. They're all like non damaging spells. And that. Pisses me the fuck off, man. Oh, that changed. Plus three damage reduction? Hmm. I don't remember that. Weird. Hmm. 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 Okay. Um. Yeah. Well, nothing I can do there. So what to do, what to do, return to the Crucible Keep. Okay, before I do that, I need to go to Twin Elms. I need to head to Twin Elms. I need to descend further into an Endless Path. Ugh, God. That place is so boring. Get to know Durance and seek out the St. Wars Battlefield. Meh. Forgotten, go to Edwall, Edel Ed Bridge. I don't know what that is. And Grithian Scepter in Andra's Gift. Oh yeah, I remember that. I need I need to do that. Okay, let's head to the Black Meadows. Yeah? I think the Black Meadows are a good place to start. Hunter gets right there in Magrin's Fort Black Meadow. Um, okay. Let's go to Black Meadow. Um, we'll hunt whatever creatures here. Bring back the bounty. Hopefully, we'll get something really cool for it. Hopefully, it's just none of this is just like money. Because that would be really, really obnoxious. Because I already have a lot of money. I don't need any more. Bandit camp, shrine. Do I have to look for this guy myself? Oh man, that's annoying. That's annoying. Um, I mean, if this were stuff that I got at the beginning of the game, it wouldn't be as annoying because, you know, I'm also exploring. But uh, not when you're like already finished exploring the game and. Only now do you get quests like this. Well, that's annoying. Oh, hide stag. Hello. 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 Okay, where is this thing? Is it up here by the shrine? Oh. That might be it. Kill it! This might have been a bad idea. This might have been a horrible idea. 
I need you to start fireballing shit. Uh, you two, please, for the love of God, start fireballing everything. You need to do that. Then you need to do that. Then attack that. I I need to do that into another one and then attack that Palagenia my lady my beautiful beautiful lady what should you do you should firebrand that guy's ass I said firebrand his ass thank you I can't do that hmm weird usually that would change um per encounter what's this lay on hands Per rest, per rest, per rest, per rest, per rest. Well, fetid caressed. What? Ew. Hmm. Touch up. Oh my god. Sure. Touch up rot everything. Everything. And then attack. You gotta knock that thing down and attack. Ooh boy. Ooh boy. Go, 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 go. Heal. Okay. And not only that, you need to cast that on yourself right now. You need to heal. And you, ma'am, need to say that that guy is your sworn enemy. You need to start knocking things down. And you, I, I don't even know, man. See, I would cast that, but my god, it's now like damaging to my own allies, which is so stupid. So utterly stupid. Okay, cast that right there. Um, then cast that on yourself. Then cast that on him. Okay, you should be good. You should be Minolta's fucking flaming everything. Minolta's flame that thing again. And everyone should be okay. <laughs> Oh, that killed that tree immediately. I need to... Ooh. That was tough. That was tough. Holy crap, I leveled off of that? I got 3,000 experience for finishing, oh. My god, I think that's a bit broken. For one fight, I get 3,000 XP? Oh my god. Oh my, that's insane. I should not be leveled up this fast. Oh my god. Uh, um, I'm gonna save it for the next athletic points, I think. Uh, vigorous defense. Into the fray. Clear out. Guardian stance. Lowers accuracy, but higher defense. Discipline Barrage. Unbending. 
I don't care anything about that. Armor's Grace. Armor Speed Penalty. Vigorous Defense. Once per encounter. Mm. I think I'm going to take Guardian Stance. Done. I don't care about him having lower accuracy. Oh, whoops. What is this? Engaged. Deflection, deflection, deflection. Okay, never mind. Uh, well, that was stupid. Can I reset that? Is Was there a save before that? I guess I can fight the fight again. And not get this, because this is just useless now. Yeah. Yeah, load game. Sorry, but that that's just not okay. I didn't know you can't have more than two auras active at the same time. I want him to buff himself, not the rest of his party. Um, because that buffing the rest of his party lowers the buff on himself. That's just dumb. The problem with that is my party should not be getting hit, you know? That's the problem. My party should not be getting hit. I believe it was right there. So let's go here. Actually, if we funnel them through that tree, it should be a lot easier. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna have a fun time with this. Okay, back up. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Okay, charge in. Um Alice, 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 you are going to cast me some, f no, not firewall. That's going to be second thing you do. Right now, you should cast me fireball. No, 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 no. Cast me that instead. And then buff yourself, I guess. And then, nope. I guess you can web, web this area. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Cast that. Cast that. And then attack. And then attack. You need to buff. Buff. What's this? Oh, prevents death for X amount of time. Uh, 200 endurance per kill. Mm, that's not that good. Uh, minus 10 defenses. Burn damage. Okay. Uh, hazard AOE. Okay. Uh, restore major endurance. Meh. Uh, 50 against Daze and Confused. Nope. Uh, for my... Aha! Here we go. And finally, another buff. We're just going to... Oh, it's also debuffs. Never mind. I wait for them to get closer. Um, I think that's good enough for now. Ooh, I forgot about Puppet Strings. You are going to Puppet Strings him. Um, um, and you okay, and then you're just gonna attack Pelagina. You're gonna hit that guy, you're gonna be fine. You are going to Ooh, see. Oh, there we go. Hit him. There we go. Back up. Back up, back up, back up. Nice. Goodness. Goodness me. Okay. You need to... Intercept! 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 Knock it down. Knock it down, knock it down. God damn it! 
Why do things keep attacking my back row? That's just not fucking okay. Fucking goddamn AI just runs straight for my healer every motherfucking time. God, that is so annoying. Okay. Um, we don't need that anymore. A fireball? Yeah, I'll do some fireballing. Fireball that area. I can do some ice too. And then ice that area. And then attack. I think we should heal. Yep. And then attack. You're fine. You're fine. I am, however, not okay with this. Um, I think, well, mm, no, that's going to cost too much for so little damage. No, we're going to go here. There we go. We're going to cast that straight across. Damn, that does so much damage. Oh my god. This first level spell is insane. Look at that. Like, okay. It doesn't damage the creature that it's targeting. But every single creature in between takes massive amount of damage. It is insane. Absolutely insane. I can't believe that icing damages my party now. Yeah? What retards decide that? Ugh. So annoying that somebody decided that spell needs to damage your own party members. Well, I know what we're not getting. Hmm. Actually, we're going to get critical defense. Sounds good to me. It's going to have 20% uh, of incoming crits converts to hits. And 10% of incoming hits converts to grazes. Sounds good to me. So now he should be harder to kill. Um myself i know what i'm getting definitely uh, more mechanic skills for sure Ooh, ringleader imprint an insidious and powerful compulsion to obey the cipher across all enemies in the area of effect dominating the target and charming all others uh, what's dominated dominated target is subservient to the will of the enemy and will use everything in his disposal to fight his former teammates overrides charm dominate its exclusive meaning to a character you have one dominated fiction at a time a newer one will dispel any other okay so charmed hmm. oh okay okay uh i don't like it <laughs> borrow instinct um Causing damage to those enemies' attributes. Gives the minus 8 in minus 8. So this is good against, like, mages. Detonate. Splinter target's soul with sheer force, inflicting raw damage to them. Targets with low endurance explode, causing crush damage to any target in the area. Uh... Excuse me? How much damage? 12,702.7 raw damage that this spell is going to do. I wonder what I'm going to get for this level. Holy sh- 
That will kill most things. Oh no, that might actually be the push damage. The crush damage, I meant. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So if I kill something with this spell, it will explode and deal 12,000 damage to anything in the area. Um. Okay. That's insane. That's a bit insane. I'll take it. Tactical meld. Plus 20 accuracy when attacking the same target. Tar same enemy as the target. Mm, no. No. Mine Lance. Huh. Probably should have gotten Mine Lance. Oh, well. I don't like anything else here, though. Minus 8 int 8 perception. Not needed. Ringleader? I don't want domination and AoE charm. And the range is 4 meters, which is shit. I don't want to get up that close with a bow. I'm gonna get Mind Lance. So she should be good now. Yeah, one lo fifth level, which is ridiculously good, and a mine lands. So that should also be very good. Okay. Uh, Durance. Let's see what you can do. I can upgrade your lore, which I'm probably going to do. Yeah, upgrade your lore. And you unlock an entirely new set of skills. Okay, Champions, Boon, Pillars of Holy Fire, Prayer, Restore Critical, uh, Revive, yes. Salvation of Time, Shield of the Faithful. Heal Critical, is that health healing? Nope. Revive is going to be great. That's amazing. Uh, salvation of time. Uh, area of effect. Radius. Uh, duration of active beneficial effects. Oh, plus 10%. Uh, 10 duration seconds. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, plus 25%. Uh, 25 deflection for uh, 37 seconds. It's okay. Prayer against imprisonment, defense against paralysis, defense against petrified. Yeah. Pillars of holy fire, um, burn damage, mm -hmm. champion's boon, friendly target, 10 might, 10 perception. That's actually pretty good. Anyone that needs a damage boost? Kana. Um, you get lore. I don't know. Should I split him between lore and mechanics? Eh, I will split him between lore and mechanics. Seems like that will be better. Uh, I get one, another third level one? Okay. But still a burning effect on all ally weapons. Plus 29 burn damage. Wow! That's kind of insane. Seven men onto the deck, they went. Um, plus 15 against prone. Nope, nope, nope. That's just defense. Um, generate a hazard fuel causing burn and slash damage to enemies in the area. Um, burn damage over 16, slash damage over 16. That is a lot of damage. Um, 10 deflection. Okay, whatever. Um, so I'm, I'm going to pick this, honestly. Like the fire buff to everyone. That's amazing. And I need to weave that into his chant somewhere. Um, let's do that right now. I need you. Where can I edit his chant? There it is. Um, I am currently using Battle Rhythm, right? Yeah. So Battle Rhythm is Sure Hand. 
Reload speed and rate of fire. I have a lot of range. That's useful. Fortitude and will for six seconds. I don't fucking care about that. Okay, that's going to get replaced with the fire weapon. And I don't care about that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Um, hazardous. Ugh, I don't know. What is this? Frightened. Uh, dexterity or reduced and accuracy is reduced. Yeah, I'll take that. And then for this, I will switch to that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I meant go to B and then switch to that. Uh, uh, there you go. March to the frozen path. And, uh, sure. Because I have both fear and fire in there. Why not? Why not? Okay, so we should have fear the fire and march of the frozen path. Just in case we need to uh, run away. And Alice. Lore. I can't increase its lore. Points left six. I can save it and I can increase it next time. Or I can increase the mechanic. Nope, we can just kind of save and increase it next time. Oh, aren't you dapper? Look at you with your monocle. Wow, I have learned a lot of spells. Okay. Uh, Archimere's Wondrous Torment. Minus 10 resolve, 10 intellect for the target foe. Useless. Blast of Frost. Create a bitter surge of ice and freezing cold, inflicting freeze damage on anyone causing the Kono area. So this is like fire, but ice. <laughs> uh, call to slumber. Put enemies into a prone position. Don't really care. Sisla spirit slants. Summon a spirit lance. Uh, no. Uh, Lingress safeguard. Deflection. Buff himself. Nope. Don't care. Mount Lignant Cloud. Um, raw damage anyone in the cloud for a few seconds. 14 seconds. Um, 11 to 17 raw damage per second. Um, <clears throat> that's like 140 to roughly 200 damage. Or 180 damage. Whatever. Math. Not worth. I don't think that's worth. Uh, Ningo to bitter mooring. Uh, the target is hit with a stuck affliction and becomes anchor with a frigid energy. So freezing damage and a beam that does freezing damage. Uh, uh, does it? Oh, it says enemies. Mm, does a beam only do? Damage to enemies. If that's the case, that spell is pretty OP. I might pick it up. Terrifying people. Not needed. Torment of Flames. Instant, uh, init instantiates a terrifying inferno of flame, inflicting burn damage to everyone nearby. No, that's from him. Wall of Force. Creates a semi-permeable barrier that inflicts crushed damage and hobble upon enemies that pass through it. Leaves allies unscathed. Low damage wall that makes them hobbled. Reduce dex by 2, movement by 1.5. Don't really care. So it's going to be... Um, Frost Blast, maybe? It's the only other spell in this entire list that I care about? Or malignant cloud. We're gonna take blast of frost. No new abilities, huh? Class abilities. Wow, I didn't learn a new spell there. That's weird. Hmm. I can't believe we don't have seventh, eighth, ninth, and tenth level spells. We only have up to six. That's pathetic. Oh, well. 
Okay. Let's get out of here.